Back in 2003, there was a genre known as real-time strategy. Trust us, it was a thing. And no one dominated the field as much as Blizzard with their flagship series, Warcraft. The game featured a robust custom map maker, but one mod rose to immense popularity, Defense of the Ancients. The mod was passed from modder to modder, from Ooz to Guinsu to Ice Frog. Am I saying that right? Who knows at this point? Running the game long after Warcraft 3's popularity had faded, and thus a new genre was born. The multiplayer online battle arena, or MOBA for short. Dota continued on as a free mod for years, and numerous other developers started to make standalone genre spin-offs. Yet Blizzard stood back and watched. It wasn't until 2010 when StarCraft 2 launched that the team hoped to showcase the new map making tools to inspire the mod scene. In their office sat a custom arcade cabinet that depicted all their franchises together. Taking inspiration from that, Blizzard Dota was created. The game was in development for two years and focused on making it easy for newcomers to pick up and play and emphasize team fighting over solo engagements. It wasn't until 2012 that the developers realized the game needed to be a standalone title, and thus the game formerly known as Blizzard Dota and Blizzard All-Stars became Heroes of the Storm. Have fun!